In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. One by one, the free lands of Middle-earth fell to the power of the ring. Yet, when all hope had faded, the king's son Isildur took up his father's sword and cut the ring from Sauron's hand. For two and a half thousand years, the ring was lost. But in time, it passed to a hobbit who carried it to Rivendell, where a great council was called to decide the ring's fate. Nine companions would form the Fellowship of the Ring to see to its destruction. Frodo Baggins and his faithful friend Sam Gamgee would scale the slopes of Mount Doom and cast the ring into the fire from whence it came. To draw Sauron's eye from the ring bearer, Aragorn, heir of Isildur, marched upon the Black Gate of Mordor and challenged the armies of the Dark Lord. As Aragorn and his army approached the Black Gate, Sauron prepared to empty all of Mordor to oppose him. of men fail, but it is not this day, this day we fight! We can give Frodo his chance if we keep Sauron's eye fixed upon us. For Frodo. Is this truly the strength of Mordor? There are too many of them, Aragorn. Thin their numbers, or we'll be overrun. Trolls! Quickly, Aragorn! Bring them down! A Balrog? There weren't any Balrogs at the Black Gate. That was in Moria, silly. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Frodo, sir, if I don't spend all my time listening to Dad's stories. Frodo! Frodo! Frodo Gamgee, where are you? Go on, Mother's calling. Bet she's going to make you help with the party.
It's been 15 years since Mr. Frodo and I made the journey to Mount Doom to destroy the ring. With Sauron defeated, Aragorn was crowned King of Gondor. Now, the king is coming to the Shire, and a great party is being held in his honor. Of course, as mayor of Hobbiton, it's up to me, Samwise Gamgee, to see that everything's ready. I'll be needing some help, and I think I know just the lad. You see, Mr. Frodo left with the elves, but there's still a Frodo living at Bag End. My son, Frodo Gamgee. Frodo Gamgee, look at the state of you. Your father needs your help. With so many party stalls to set up, he has his hands full. He's waiting for you down by the great tree in the party field. Off in the woods again, son? Well, it's a day for having fun with the king's visit and all. But I need a little help. We're setting up some stalls with trials of strength for folk to play during the party. I need you to make sure they're not too hard. Why not talk to the sword stall owner? They'll tell you what to do. Did he? Good. You seem just the lad for the job. All I need for you to do is try and knock over all the dummies in my stall using that sword of yours. Are you ready to start? In you go then. You did a fine job at the sword stall, son. I think you've earned a reward. Here, two silver pennies to spend at the party today. Now maybe you could try another job. We still need to test out the shield stall. The party's starting soon, so go talk to the stall owner. He'll tell you what to do. Why? If it isn't young Master Ganji, I'm glad your father sent you. None of the other children are brave enough to try my stall. It's easy, really. Just use a shield to defend yourself against my infernal cabbage hurling machines. What do you say? Want to give it a go? Well then, let's get started. Oh, and be careful. Those cabbages will hurt if they hit you.
Well done, son. It was a dangerous job, but you've done us proud. If you've got any bumps and bruises, a quick bite of food will help. Check the barrels around here. Nobody will complain if you break a few open. Oh, and here's some extra pocket money for you to spend at the stalls. Now then, one more stall to test. It's called the Dwarf Stall, and, well, I won't spoil the surprise. Off you go. The attendant will explain what you need to do. Ah, you're just the kind of fearless orbit I was looking for. I need someone skilled with both sword and shield to help my dwarven friend warm up his skills. Are you ready to begin? Let's start off with something easy. Just see if you can evade him three times. you to try bashing me with your shield. See if you can break my block. Ready to give it a try? Off you go then. learned the basics. I think you're ready for the main event. It's a duel against me. You'll need to use everything you've learned so far to defeat me. Do you want to try a full round against me now? That's the spirit, lad. Sword ready then. Here we go. Fostering. I'm a friend of your sister Eleanor's. I've got an idea for a game we could play, but you need someone else to be Gandalf. I'll bet Eleanor would want to play. Come back if you find her anywhere. Thank you, Frodo. I think that's all we need to get the party underway. Here are some more silver pennies for you to spend at the stalls. You've earned it. It's time to relax and have some fun. Why not explore a bit? Or I could tell you a story if you like.
there, son. Are you done playing in the Shire now? Good lad. If you find my stories too scary, be sure and let me know. Let's get back to Bag End then. I've been so busy I forgot all about second breakfast. have a good party without a lot of hard work. Remember that. Is the king really coming to the Shire? Indeed he is, so you'd all best be clean and presentable. <sighs> <laughs> it's true, all right. But King Alessar wouldn't mind a bit of honest dirt. Why, well, the first time I met him, he was the scruffiest looking fellow you ever laid eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he called King Alessar? Wasn't his name Aragorn? Alessa is what the elves call him. My gaffer used to say you can't trust those who don't stick to one name. But Strider proved him wrong. Who's Strider? Aragorn, silly. Strider's what he called himself when he was disguised as a ranger. Well, that's not quite right. Didn't I ever tell you the whole story of Strider? No! no. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you have to tell us now, please! Hooray! Story! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well... I'll warn you all, it's a long one. Uh, we have a few hours while the stalls are set up. It was a grim, wet night in the village of Bree, and black riders were about, seeking the ring. Frodo decided that we should stay the night at the Inn of the Prancing Pony. The riders came for us in the night. But Strider had found us first. What are they? They are the Nazgul. Ring wraiths. Neither living nor dead. At all times they feel the presence of the ring. Where are you taking us? To the house of Elrond. It would be a long journey to Rivendell. Your hobbit friends went to stock up on supplies for the journey. Ask around town. Somebody must know where the little masters were headed. Watch your step. There are some strange folk around since those black riders came through. Ask around town. Watch your step. There are some strange folk around since those black riders came through. I think I saw that Mr. Underhill run off towards the stables earlier. If you've any sense, you'll head to the stables to find yourself a horse. Suddenly, a gang of nasty-looking ruffians attacked. Servants of Sauron, no doubt. Get him! Looking for a pack horse for our journey, but the stable master says they all bolted when the black riders came. I don't want to stay here much longer. Shall we be going now?
collected all these wonderful herbs, Mr. Strider. The gardener says if we find any of these in the wild, they can be used to keep us healthy. Are we leaving now, Mr. Strider? Where is he leading us? Strider, help us out. We can't decide which carrots to buy. I like the ones from this store, but Pippin says he doesn't like the look of them at all. <laughs> Silly took. Oh, you want us to be leaving right this minute? How do we know this Strider is a friend of Gandalf? With the Black Rider still at large, Strider wanted to leave town right away. And so, we hurried to the gates of Bree, not even stopping for breakfast. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. If I open the gates, what's to stop those Black Riders attacking us all? How do I know that I can trust you? That you're not working for them? No sooner did the gatekeeper speak than a band of foul-smelling ruffians appeared. They weren't going to let us leave Bree without a fight. those ruffians. Fine, I'll open the gates for you. But they close again as soon as you set foot outside the walls. Are you ready to leave yet? I'll open the gates for you then. Dawn was breaking as we left Bree and started out on the long road to Rivendell. Gentlemen, we do not stop till nightfall. 